Welcome to Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration. I'm Jane Klaus. The holidays are traditionally a time for giving, and one place we can all give is to local nonprofits. But before we tell you how you can help out, let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. We get a sneak peek at the new holiday play from Arizona Theater Company. Tips on what to consider before you start planting new landscape. Plus, we show you how to use art in your home decor. That and much more coming up on Arizona Living. The holiday season is an important time for nonprofits and their need is greater than ever right now. So here to talk about how we can help is Jennifer Purcell with the Alliance of Arizona Nonprofits. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having us. All right. So let's start things off. Explain to us what the Alliance of Arizona Nonprofits is. So the Alliance of Arizona Nonprofits is a statewide chamber or association for the nonprofit sector. We provide all sorts of great resources, um, ability for people to network, professional development, education, and of course some advocacy there too. And as we enter the holiday season, one of my favorite topics is how we can give back. So what is the greatest need right now? So the two things at the end of the year, one, volunteers are always needed and really they're needed throughout the year, uh, but giving uh, right now, you know, with, with everyone's wallets being a little bit tighter, um, there's more need. Uh, there's more people coming to nonprofit organizations needing assistance. And so people that are able to give, uh, we really ask that you look you know, into your heart and how can you give and, and give a donation at the end of the year. Yeah, and it's so important. To, and this is such a great reminder for everybody. So Jennifer, tell us, how are you seeing nonprofits being used most in the community now? Uh, right now they're being used uh, and tasked with a lot. Um, they're, uh, people are constantly uh, knocking on their doors, calling them, reaching out uh, for assistance. And it can be a variety of things. It could be for transportation. Uh, it could be for food and, and basic necessities. And the most serious cases are really about uh, housing and needing a place, a roof over their head and a safe and, and clean place for, for them to live. So that's certainly top of mind for a lot of people right now. Wow, I mean, so many needs and so many ways to give back. Uh, if people want to volunteer, are volunteers still needed? Absolutely, volunteers are still needed. If you think about the arts and culture um, area, they still have performances going on. They're always in need of volunteers to help them on, on theater and show nights. Um, but then there's also food, food uh, lines and, and ways that you can help uh, food banks and distributing food. Uh, this time of year is also when a lot of, uh, I'll call it stuffing parties happen. So that gifts going to kids uh, and youth, or uh, perhaps there's a, a community event happening and that nonprofit needs assistance. So there are so many different ways. Now, if somebody wants to give back or even a family wants to give back and or help local nonprofits, what's the best way? What do they do? So we always encourage people to go to Arizona Gives, um, azgives.org. We've got over a thousand organizations on there that have been vetted. Uh, so you know that they're legitimate 501c3 organizations. And it's really a shopping cart experience. You can filter and look by the mission that you're most pa passionate about. Uh, and you can, um, you know, just give to one, two. We also have information on there about who qualifies for a tax credit. So the Arizona State tax credits, if you're looking at that at the end of the year as well. So go to azgives.org. There's organizations across the state. Fantastic. Jennifer, is there anything else you want to remind us about giving back during the holiday season? You know, give from the heart if you can. You know, just, just really think about um, people, maybe maybe animals are your passion uh, as well, but give to organizations that mean something to you, that you can have a connection to. You'd be surprised how many out there are so thankful and grateful for your gift, and they do a lot with those dollars. Jennifer, thank you so much. And if you would like more information on how to help our local nonprofits, just head over to the Alliance website. Arizona Theater Company is launching its 55th season with a new holiday play the entire family will love. This is the Wickham's Christmas at Pemberley.
My name is Maya Insila, and I play Lydia Wickham. My name is Alex J. Gould, and I play George Wickham. My name is Emily Money, and I play Cassie in The Wickham's Christmas at Pemberley. Arizona Theatre Company has a wonderful collaboration of uh, designers, uh, crew members, cast, uh, of course our wonderful director, Veronica Durr, uh, all working in tandem uh, to bring Lauren Gunderson and Margot Melcon's words to life in the Wickhams. So last year in Miss Bennett Christmas at Pemberley, we looked at Mary Bennett's story, who's Lydia's older sister. The Bennett's is really focusing on the upstairs and the Wickhams is really focusing on downstairs. So what I really love about it is that What's happening upstairs, it's very surface. So it's very exciting and it's the upper class. And what's happening in this story is what's happening underneath. And that's actually like happening to each character. What is on the surface and what's really going on for everybody underneath. The moral of the story of The Wickham's Christmas at Pemberley is defining your own narrative, being the author of your own story. Lydia Wickham arrives to the Pemberley household for Christmas and she's flooded with her family's expectations of her, society's expectations of her as a woman at large, and it's a lot of pressure. And she has a lot of decisions to make as she's coming into her own and eventually ends up being very empowering for her. George is important to the story because he is the excitement, he's the trouble, so he is the person who's kind of the foil in everyone's lives. He brings the thing that alters the story from just a very general love story or general like Christmas story and he brings he brings the spice. Cassie is a really uh, modern interpretation on a woman from the Regency time period. Not only is she not of a wealthy upper class like the other characters but she also essentially comes from nothing. Uh, she's an orphan, this is her first big career move so there's a lot of firsts for her and there's a lot for her to prove coming essentially from nothing. The Wickham's Christmas at Pemberley is a story that everyone will be able to relate to. It's fun for the entire family. You'll laugh, you'll cry a little bit maybe, and to me it's like an internal Christmas hug, and who doesn't want that? So come and celebrate the Christmas spirit with us. So you can come check out The Wickham's Christmas at Pemberley at Arizona Theatre Company in Tucson, November 5th through December 2nd. You can also check us out in Phoenix, December 8th through December 23rd. If you want more information or are interested in getting tickets, you can visit atc.org. On social media, there is at Arizona Theater and on Facebook, Arizona Theater Company. One way to give back this holiday is to call your local animal shelter. Ask what kind of help is needed, whether it's blankets or food or chew toys. You could even volunteer to walk the dogs currently housed in the shelters. And believe me, you'll enjoy the walk as much as the dogs. Don't go anywhere, we've got more coming up on the show. How the courtesy way makes a difference in your car service experience. And tips on what plants to add to your landscape that will thrive in our climate. Arizona Theatre Company presents The Wickham's Christmas at Pemberley. Don't miss this sequel to last season's holiday show. Visit ATC.org for show tickets starting at just $25. Getting your car service should be a convenient and hassle-free experience. And at Courtesy Kia, they exemplify this with every customer they serve. We know that servicing your vehicle is really important and having safe, reliable transportation is really important to your family. My name is Brian Long. I'm the general manager of Courtesy Kia. The Courtesy Automotive Group has been a family business in the Valley since 1955. And when you come into Courtesy Kia's service department, you're going to get that same family feel when you walk in our doors. So whether you purchased your vehicle here or not, Courtesy being a fairly new dealership, we just opened January of 2021, we have the ability to offer same day service. So you can come in, get your service work done the same day, instead of a lot of dealerships currently are scheduling a week or two out. So it's a great benefit that we can offer being a brand new dealership here. 
When you pull up to a courtesy Kia service department, you're gonna be promptly greeted by a friendly and knowledgeable service advisor that's been factory trained. They're gonna do a great needs analysis and address those service concerns for you that day. I think it's really important to get your vehicle serviced at the dealership because we have highly trained factory certified technicians that have to continue with their training monthly and quarterly to stay on top of the newest technology in these cars. Plus, we're going to really treat your vehicle with kit gloves, with floor mats, covers over the seats to make sure we really take good care of that car for you while it's here in our service. Some great service that we offer here at Courtesy Kia, whether you purchased a vehicle from us or not, we have a pickup and drop off service where we will send somebody out to your home or office, pick up the vehicle, do the needs analysis there with you, or maybe even over the phone. We bring the vehicle back to the dealership, complete the service, and we will deliver it back to your home or office when the work is completely done. If you'd like to drop off your car after hours of service, we have a great uh, night drop box. You just pull your car right in the service drive, put your keys in the box. Our team will reach out to you first thing in the morning, do that needs analysis, and take care of your service concerns that way as well. So if you do decide uh, that you would like to wait here at Courtesy Kia for your work to be uh, performed on your car, we have three great uh, lounges for customers. One that has an internet uh, bar where you can charge your, your phone or your laptop and do some work there. We have another great courtyard area. It's kind of like hanging out on a Sunday afternoon at the park. Or we got a great front porch seating area where a lot of customers take advantage of our beautiful weather out here and hang out outside. And also in our waiting lounge, we have complimentary beverages like coffee and water, and we also have uh, some snacks. We are very proud to receive a lot of five-star reviews online from our sales and service customers. In fact, as a general manager, when I see one of those come across, I share it with the entire staff because it really warms our heart to see the customer's experience and them explaining the type of experience they had with us. So we would love our family to be able to take care of your transportation needs with your family right here at Courtesy Kia. Come visit us off the US 60 in Superstition Springs, or you can book your appointment online at courtesykia.com. The experts at Moon Valley Nurseries share the best type of plants that you should consider for your landscape design. Hi, my name is El Piovedo. I'm the Director of Customer Service for Moon Valley Nurseries. So when you plan in Arizona, you want to consider what you're going to be doing with your backyard. Is it for barbecuing? Are you entertaining? Do you want privacy? Do you want a palm paradise? All of those things are great things to consider. And when you come in and meet with our nursery professionals here, when you tell them that, we're going to take that and we're going to implement a design, whether it's going to be focal points in areas, whether it's going to be shade provided, whether it's that palm paradise and making sure you get the prettiest and biggest palms you can get. That's, those are all things you want to consider when planting in Arizona. When you're dealing with a pool, it just depends on the landscape and what you truly desire. Whether it's palm trees or whether it's shade trees, there's things that we can put behind pools safely that aren't going to be an issue. We have trees that will retire your rake and we have palm trees that will make sure that you're the talk of the entire neighborhood. Anything you do, we're here to help out with. There are hundreds of plants and trees that can thrive out here with minimal watering. Um, we grow some pretty cool, unique ones, whether it's the ironwood, the Texas ebony, the Palo Verde mesquite. We can design an entire zero skate for you with the Mexican fence posts, the blue glow agaves, any of our cacti and agave that are locally grown that can go in those situations. If you want to get to low to minimal water, the zero scape design is the way to go and we can absolutely help you out with that. Citrus is great. It's one of the original four seas of Arizona and we have some exclusive rootstocks that are going to be amazing with that. A lot of people don't know that you can actually plant other varieties of fruit trees. There's plenty of stone fruit that we grow here locally, understanding that they require low chill hours. So our peaches, our plums, our apricots will all produce. They'll produce heavily too because they're desert varieties that we've grown here locally. They've gone through the winters, they've been producing. We actually don't even bring them out until they're about their first or second year of producing fruit almost exclusively. So fruit trees that we'll do here other than citrus, peach, plum, apricot, fig, even some nut trees like almond and pecans, they thrive here. So it's not just citrus, you have plenty of other fruit trees to choose from. And another highlight is that people don't acknowledge most fruit trees have some of the prettiest blooms you'd ever see uh, in the springtime. 
positive impacts on planting local is that you know where your trees and plants are coming from. You know, Moon Valley Nursery started here in 1995 locally, here in the Moon Valley Country Club area, and then we've expanded since then to have eight retail locations and several farms. Our farms allow us to plant locally year-round because they're grown locally. Beyond that, we employ a lot of people that are absolutely putting back into the community. The owner's amazing at making sure that we feel comfortable with everything we're doing and that he's great on making sure that we stay local. He's big on pushing us to shop local. We all love it. There's not a more local place to shop than Moon Valley Nurseries. Here's an easy way to help others and also feel good. Instead of receiving another gift card for the holidays, ask friends and families to donate to a charity in your honor. Or better yet, plan a day of volunteering at a local nonprofit. Stay with us, we've got more to come on Arizona Living. How the Salvation Army is helping in the community and adding artwork to your home design. Arizona Opera presents its 2022-2023 season with performances in Phoenix and Tucson. Don't miss the unforgettable music, drama, and spectacle. Purchase your season tickets or single tickets today at azopera.org. Turn your car into cash the same day when you sell the sands. Get $500 more than any other offer. We'll pay you on the spot and even pick it up. Visit the Sand Showroom online or in Glendale or Surprise. You're in great hands with sands. The Salvation Army has been providing community-based services for decades. And during the holidays, their services are needed more than ever. The Salvation Army came to Arizona in 1893 and today has more than 50 units across the state, offering a variety of services based on the greatest needs in each community. We serve around a million meals to hungry Arizonans each year with emergency food boxes, congregate meals, and home delivered meals. In some communities, we offer client choice food pantries designed to help people choose healthy foods that they also like and know how to prepare. In Sierra Vista, we have an immensely popular kids culinary program that teaches kids how to make nutritious meals on their own, helping them develop good habits for a lifetime. In Mesa, we work with United Food Bank on its grocery store food rescue program, gathering unexpired food that might otherwise be thrown away. And Salad and Go has been a tremendous partner. They've donated ingredients for tens of thousands of healthy salads that are prepared for hungry neighbors across Phoenix. Salvation Army shelters provide meals and other basic needs while helping residents become self-sufficient and find permanent housing. Our Phoenix Emergency Family Shelter has 23 units where families with children work closely with case managers to access community resources and get back on their feet. The Hospitality House in Tucson has nearly 70 beds and provides food, clothing, showers, laundry, transportation, and medical assistance, and much, much more. And Project HOPE utilizes mobile units to bring help right to people living on the streets, providing referrals to resources and help in replacing personal identification and documentation and completing paperwork required for additional assistance. The Salvation Army serves people of all ages. We offer senior activity centers and housing in Metro Phoenix with a variety of services to help seniors maintain their quality of life. We provide a safe place for children to thrive during their crucial developmental years, including help with schoolwork and offering recreation, music, fine arts, and other activities. After school and summer camps include Camp Ponderosa in Scenic Heber, and the Croc Center in Phoenix is a state-of-the-art community center with a church and activities for the whole family. By visiting SalvationArmySouthwest.org, anyone who needs help can learn about our services. And anyone who would like to join the Salvation Army's mission to meet human needs in Christ's name 
without discrimination, can learn about donating funds, volunteering, and more. With your help, we can change lives for the better. You can be an elf this year by answering letters from kids to Santa. This U.S. Postal Service program allows volunteers to read letters and buy gifts for underserved children during the holidays. Just go to beanelf.org for all the details. But don't start your letter reading just yet. We've got more coming up on the show. We get advice on using artwork in your home decor. Turn your car into cash the same day when you sell the sands. Get $500 more than any other offer. We'll pay you on the spot and even pick it up. Visit the Sands Showroom online or in Glendale or Surprise. You're in great hands with Sands. The design experts at American Furniture Warehouse show us their exclusive Artists of the West collection and how canvas prints can be incorporated into your home design. Creating a small space that's full of character and style is easy at American Furniture Warehouse. Our Artists of the West program has hundreds of pieces of wall art from local Colorado, Arizona, and Texas artists. We've created two vignettes on building a room starting with the artwork. In our first space, we've started with this beautiful desert landscape and used it as a base for the color palette in this area. The stylish chair provides a spot to relax and the colorful rug ties in all the colors and helps cozy up this space. In this second space, we started with this forest waterfall print that really gives a natural feel to the room. We added a cozy chair and a nice neutral color that helps balance the green colors in the plants and artwork. The sofa table brings in some more unique textures and colors and provides a nice anchor for the space. As always, you can find everything in these rooms and more at American Furniture Warehouse. Thank you for joining us right here on Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration, where we help you create an inspired life. I'm Jane Klaus, and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays.